What's up everyone? It is Sophia here, formerly known as Vampire Kyo. And today, after my two-month disappearance from my channel, your girl is back again. I just finished my junior high year, so I'm now in senior high. Wow, guys, I'm getting old. So anyways, if you've seen the title of the video, oh yeah, I witnessed something right over there during that event during Conquest. Funny enough, I was planning to make a video of going at the convention with only me and my brother for the first time. But no, that video was not made because of my experience during the event. Here's why. I went there during the second day of the event, which I think was at June 3. I cosplayed as Shoto, the famous VTuber who was one of the guests at the event. I was so excited because it was my second biggest event that I went to and the first this year. I went to the event around 9 or 10 a.m. and the first thing I did was to get the first come first serve tickets in the MOA atrium. I was lining up but then it ran out quickly. So I assume they started it much earlier than their set time to start selling the tickets. Okay, that already sounds bad, right? Alright, so let me tell you something. The line was so long with claiming the wristbands. I remembered while waiting, I watched the cosplayers on stage in the MOA atrium to kill time. After long hours of waiting, I finally got my wristbands and decided to have lunch. I heard there would be a refill for the meet and greet tickets at noon, so once I was done with my lunch, I rushed to where the line was supposed to be to claim the tickets. However, when I went to claim for the first come, first serve ticket for the meet and greet for Shoto, it was all a scam. The organizers instead changed the instructions last minute of claiming slots by picking out 50 random people who raised their hand in the ground to meet the guest. It turned into a gacha game, literally. So in short, they did not stick with their said instructions of first come first serve. And when I tried my luck, obviously, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to meet him. What's worse was that they started this before noon and they started it before their promised time, which was very frustrating. Man, I even made a letter for him, and now it led me to this. Come on, bro. And, and hey, Shoto, if, if you're watching this, even though it's probably impossible for you to watch this because my channel is pretty obscure, I'm so sorry I wasn't able to meet you. I was even cosplaying as you. I made all of the time and effort to meet you as well to have some fun, but no, hopefully I can at least uh, meet you at a more organized event to be able to give you the letter I made to you someday. Love you so much, I hope I can meet you someday. Anyway, back to my story, so from all I've said, it already sounds that bad, right? No? There's more! After going through all the trouble of attempting to win the gacha roll of the meet and greet ticket and claiming the wristbands of my family decided to go to the SMX building where the convention itself takes place. So as we arrived, the line outside the convention was so long it extended below the stairs to the entry of the building. The organizers couldn't control the crowd very well because guess what? They oversold the tickets. As the tickets for all day sold out, they decided to restock them, which resulted to overselling and overcrowding. I've been stuck in the line in scorching heat for three and a half hours. I was like there since noon, and then I was just there for up to like 2.30. That's how bad it was in the line. Like it extended all the way to the back. I was supposed to leave at three. I was just losing every single minute of my sanity. My mom and my brother were there with me and they complained more than me. I kept calm about it, but inside I was just, I was just dumb it. I could only express my frustration through my words. And thank God that I was in a simpler cosplay because if that wasn't the case, I would have suffered more. My mom asked me if I can stay a bit longer to see if I could go in, but we barely moved. And if I went in there already, I would have very little time having fun. Here's a clip of me waiting the entire time. Yo, this is horrendous. This is 
horrible. This is terrible. Probably the worst convention I've ever been. Just we haven't moved one minute. Check this out. So I made the choice of going home after my mom asked me instead because my mom said that it would never happen because we barely moved. Overall, I never had any fun. It, it was just all a mess. That's all from my experience. So as I looked through Facebook when I came back home, everyone was complaining about it. And shockingly, there were lines everywhere in the building. It was even worse than the outside. From the escalators to going to the halls, everywhere you go, everywhere you see are lines lines thank god i made the right choice of leaving so that i wouldn't have to suffer more when i go inside of the building and the more i look through facebook the more issues i've seen in my feed the venues weren't labeled people had to do first come first serve when they tried to claim their seats for the music night even when they got premium and that the way the organizers handled the meet and greet was just a big mess. Uh, last minute instructions which caused most attendees and guests in dismay. Including me, especially for the meet and greet. So the official page of the event made an apology about the queuing and that they would limit the number of people for day 3. So you're thinking in day 3, this will all get better right since they made an apology. Wrong! It got worse. They did not stick to their words. The lines leading to the convention reached up to the church. The church. It was that worse. It was that bad. It was worse than day two. Thank God I did not decide to go to day three because it would have been way, way worse. And inside the convention was more crowded than before. What if they created a stampede? Like, bro, like, what if they created like a stampede in the mall? Well, thank goodness it did not create a stampede in the mall because honestly, I've also heard. A lot of cases of people suffering from heat stroke and fainting because of the long waiting. Oh my god. Thank god though I didn't come back in day 3. It would make my experience feel much worse. As I said earlier, there's more bad stuff that happened. But that's all from my experience and what I've heard. So when I said that, I think you already know that this event was a massive mess. It has potential because they invited my favorite creators and they had so much activities. But in the end, it all went downhill because of that one misstep they made, which led to a chain reaction to the other problems. I will never support Conquest again. I will never come back to their events again. I know I'm being dramatic, but that's possible for me because it's like a first impression. But honestly, I just hope that next Conquest would be better even though I am not coming back. Like I hope they learn from their mistakes and do better. Uh, so, and because of all of I said, I can finally declare that all of the conventions I've been in, even at the smallest ones, this was the worst one I've ever gone to. Like seriously, hear me out. The ones in Ozine Fest or Toy Fest, the smaller events that are free, they are better than the bigger events in my opinion. In the bigger events, you have to like prepare a lot because a lot of big things will happen. But but you know, in the smaller events, you could just like chill, you know, even though nothing's gonna happen. I know it won't be as much fun, but like, from my experience, that's just how I see it. So yeah, I think that's all I have for my tea today and for the experience I had in Conquest 2023. It was such a big mess. I hope you have seen like the news of it i think if you're cosplaying and i know there are more issues than this that what i have mentioned way 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 more issues i've seen posts of more issues than this than what i have said from all of that and just because of that i want you guys to like comment your experience or some issues that you know about conquest 2023 in the comments i want to see a discussion i want to read your comments of what you experienced what are the things that i haven't mentioned in the video that you wish to bring light to so yeah guys thank you so much for watching and if you guys like my channel and my videos please like subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and see you guys in the next video bye bye